John Oaks here with Hankster's Hot Rods here in our new facility, Homer City, Pennsylvania. And today we've got our new inventory here, which is a 1965 Chevy 2 Nova. And this is an SS car. So it's got the 118 VIN code on it. Um, so yes, yeah, so a real legitimate SS car. So we have it up on our lift here. We're gonna go ahead and go through the underside, um, just like we always do, starting here at the back, working our way to the front, and then we'll be able to take you around the outside after we get it down off the lift. So starting here at the back, it looks like we've got a new fuel tank back here. Uh, nice finish on it, got all the good mounting hardware here, the new straps, the, uh, um, the insulation here around the straps, the bolts, the hardware nuts and everything back there, all in new condition. We've got mono leaf rear suspension on this car, uh, as well as we have shocks back here with the coilover kits on them. Uh, again, makes a nice feature on this car here, gives you a good ride back here. Um, now starting out at the sides, working our way across then, we've got uh, a set of uh, uh, weld uh, aluminum racing wheels. Um, they're, you know, nice lightweight wheel, give it the style um, that the guy was looking for here that put it together. Um, we've got a set of 215, 70 or 15 tires uh, on the back. Uh, inside of these wheels, we've got drum brakes across the rear of the car. Um, and we do have the emergency brake run all the way back. Uh, cables and everything are all hooked up. Uh, again, that mono leafer suspension the shocks with the coilover kits. We've got a GM 10 bolt rear here. This is a posi unit, 373 gear. This is the 8.2 ring gear in it also. And then the other things that you can see from back here would be the dual exhaust, the tailpipes up over top of the rear and exiting out right here between the quarter panel and the leaf spring, just as they should. And again, the pipes all the way up to the ceramic coated headers look to be all new on this car real good shape all the exhaust hangers are intact uh, as they should be um, you got the frame mounts the rubber bushings um, and then of course they're welded to the tailpipes um, the Flowmaster dual mufflers back here so again it's going to give it a nice throaty sound through those mufflers and like I said again all new pipes the whole way up to the ceramic coat header so all right now here we are underneath the center of our 65 Nova SS here and again just taking a look we'll start back here again this was the 10 bolt GM rear end posi unit 8.2 ring gear the drum brakes those coilover shocks on the rear with the mono leaf rear suspension you've got the emergency brake lines hooked up here and we've got the cable run all the way down the floor here. Um, so all the correct you know, cables and hardware are all intact there as it should be. Um, again, the dual exhaust, the dual flow master mufflers here. All new pipe, exhaust pipe, the whole way up to those ceramic coat long tube headers up there. You can see the floor from this uh, position also. Floors are in really good shape on this car all solid one piece no patching that i can see underneath here uh, just a light dusting of undercoating um, and again uh, just flat black paint then uh, again nice uniform uh, uh, you know look to it underneath here again no patching good and solid floors um, the sections of frame that we can see on both sides here and then back in the back corners here um, here and here you can see all the frame is good and straight on this car. What frame that there is. Again, it's kind of a subframe car. You don't have the, the frame that runs the whole way through. Uh, we've got a four speed manual transmission. This is a Muncie M21 uh, four speed uh, aluminum bell housing. And yes, it does have the flywheel cover on the front to protect it against dirt and debris from possibly getting in and chipping a tooth off of that flywheel. Um, now again, one thing you see here, this looks to be uh, maybe a custom made oil pan for this small block Chevy motor. That's actually a GM motor. It's a, it's a 383 GM crate motor. Um, it looks like they made a custom oil pan. It's got a deep sump on it and then it's got a front kick out on it and it's welded up around here so that it's got a provision 
for your steering, your drag length to travel through here. Um, so it's notched out in the front, but it gives you extra capacity there for the oil pan. Um, the transmission mount back here, very nice and straight. That looks to actually be an all new component, new hardware holding that all in together. The bolts for your tail shaft mount, those are all new and the mount itself is new and in great condition. Um, and then, like I said, the only other things we can really see from this angle, and again, we'll see them from the front end too, steering components. So your tie rods, that stuff looks to be all new. The boots on uh, the ball joints for all of that stuff are all intact. They're not cracked or tore, so it keeps your grease in, keeps dirt and debris out. Drag link looks to be good condition. Pitman arm, good condition. New uh, nut and everything on the steering box, holding the pitman arm on. And of course, all the front suspension on this car is just all stock stuff. All right, now finally we made it to the front end of our 65 Chevy 2 Nova SS. So again, from this angle, you can see, uh, as I was talking about in that last clip, the oil pan here. You can see how that's been uh, custom made. They've uh, actually welded on here, made a de -sump, deep sump pan out of it. And then they made the provision here so that your drag length could travel through here with any without any obstruction to that oil pan or to the steering components. So again, from here you can see a little better too. Those tie rods there again look to be all new. Drag length looks to be in good condition. Pitman arm behind that. Again, all that stuff in good shape. Sway bar up front here too. So your chassis mounts with your bushings, those are in good shape. Sway bar end links and bushings on those, those are in great shape too. Now again, on the Novas, you had this strut rod front suspension on them, so that's all intact. Bushings are in good, excellent shape on this car, actually. Um, so there's no splits or cracks or anything in them. They look to be all new. The suspension on this car, again, the front is all stock stamp components, so stock lower control arms, stock, stock upper A arms, um, your shocks and springs. Again, that's all just part of the standard front suspension on this car. Um, now as far as from side to side what we have here, again we've got those 15 inch weld racing aluminum wheels. Uh, we've got a set of 16580 R15 tires on the front. So again they've gone with a little bit narrower, top, narrower tire up front and of course on the back a little bit wider to get a little more meat back there to where your power is going to get transferred to the road. Uh, that way you got lots of grip back there. Um, other things that I can see underneath here are the cross member up here again on the Novas, just a small little cross member, but again, you can see how nice a condition that is, nice and straight. Uh, you can tell this car hasn't been you know hit or run into anything whatsoever, as straight as what these components are. The frame up here, nice and straight and square, so again, never been touched up front. Um, you can see this, the long tube ceramic coated headers here hanging down underneath here again coming from that GM crate motor, that 383 stroker motor here. Um, so again you're going to have a, a nice power plant in this car. That 383 is very streetable power uh, but it gives you the performance if you want it while you're out on the street. So again, other things that I can see while I'm underneath here, uh, again, we'll see some of this later, but we've got an aluminum radiator in here. We've got the fan shroud in here. Um, it looks to be a six blade flex fan in there. And they've gone ahead and upgraded the, the front pulleys and, and so forth on this car. They put a serpentine belt drive on it. Um, so again, real nice feature there, aluminum pulleys. Uh, looks to be a chrome power steering reservoir. Um, and a chrome alternator up there as well. Um, so yeah, a lot of nice things on this car. Um, the outside's immaculate too, but we'll go ahead and check that out here just as soon as we get this down off the lift, which that's what we're gonna do right now. All right, here we are now back in our uh, main uh, photo studio room here now. We've got a 65 Chevrolet Chevy 2 Nova SS here now. Um, we're gonna take you around the outside and then of course, like we always do, under the hood, in the trunk, the interior, and then we fire the engine up for you. So, obviously you see we've got this nice bright red exterior here, nice smooth shiny red paint here on the car. 
panel fitment is really nice on this car. Um, as we walk around here, I'll go ahead and point out some things to you. Uh, but again, you've got the steel panels here. The only panel that's not steel on this car is the hood. So we've got a fiberglass, two inch cowl induction hood here. But fitment on this hood uh, is, is really good. I just mentioned how nice this hood does fit. Uh, so we'll see that as we come around the front of the car a lot better. Uh, but again, uh, we've got bright wheel lip moldings here all the way around the car. Um, we've got these 15 inch weld racing aluminum wheels here. That's what the previous owner decided to go with on the car. And the wheels are in really good shape. They're polished up nice. There's no dents or dings in them. The finish is really nice on these wheels. Complete with the center caps, correct lug nuts. Um, now as far as tire size on this car, um, they went with a little different uh, name brand tire. Tread patterns are fairly similar on them, uh, but that was just again to get the tire size that they were looking for. So up front we have a set of 16580 R15s. So again, it's a pretty narrow front tire on this car. Again, that's the look that they were going for though. Uh, we've got the 383 cross flags emblem down here on the back side of the front fender. And then we have this two-tone, it's the bright and black lower body molding. And it goes all the way from the back side of the front fender all the way clear to the tail of the car. And that is real nice. It's, it's all straight, polished up pretty nice there. Again, no dents or dings in it. Nice and straight all the way back the side of the car. For that lower body molding. Um, all of the other bright work on this car, your trim around the windshield, the drip rail moldings, uh, the molding up along the top side of the door here, and then your um, quarter panel molding that's up here on top on this body line, that's all in really good shape. Again, these big long trim pieces, nice and straight, there's no dents in any of them, uh, polished up real nice. So again, just you know, nice little subtle touches to this car. Um, that, you know, they come factor in the car and they retain them on the car. Uh, as far as mirrors go, we've got both the driver and passenger side mirror. Um, we'll see the other side when we get there. Chrome door handles there. Let's go ahead and check out our gaps on this door. I'm at the back side right now, but again, you see how nice and tight that gap is here on the back side of the door. If you look up at the front side also, gap is pretty nice and tight up there too. And the elevations are dead on on this car. There's no deviation whatsoever on that door. Again, all adjusted up real nice there. Let's take a quick look on the inside here. Again, we'll get more in depth with this as we go on the interior of the car. But again, you've got the red paint continued on on the inside of the door. The little rubber bump stops on the door on, on the 65 Nova, it looks like you have just in the center and down at the bottom. All the weather stripping looks to be fairly new, looks in really good condition too. And again, you've got red interior trim, dash, door, the top of the door, bottom of the door, the door sills here, threshold plates, nice and uh, straight and polished up there. Got this kind of like a cross between a tan and a light brown interior, all vinyl. Um, the carpeting looks to be all new. Headliners, tan. Um, again, like I said, just a red trim, everything, bucket seats in the front. Like I said, we'll go inside once we get there. Uh, you'll see all that stuff a lot better there. But again, if you close the door, you see how nice and easy it shuts. So that shows you how well the door's adjusted. Um, then again, the quarter panels here. Very nice uh, as far as being straight and smooth the whole way back around. You've got the gas cap here, that's the stock gas cap, painted red. Again, 15 inch weld racing wheels. Now the back tires on this car are a 215-70 R15. So that gives you an idea of size difference there as far as width and as far as height on that tire. Again, the polished uh, you know, wheel whip moldings there. Got the Nova SS badging back here on the quarter panel as well. And that finally brings us to the rear of the car. All right, here we are now at the back end of the car. So again, this is our 65 Nova SS. So you see the traditional 65 tail panel here. 
Got this big trunk lid back here. Again, it's nice and straight as far as your gaps go side to side. That's pretty uniform there, side to side. Elevations aren't too bad there. Again, you've got adjustability on these trunk lids too. You can mess around with them, get them fitting a lot better. Again, bright work around that rear window. You can see how nice that is. Nicely polished up. There's no dents or dings in any of that trim around this car. Rear back glass looks to be in really good condition too on this car. Now you'll see this is kind of two-toned back here. So and you've got your red exterior. Your tail panel itself is silver and it's got your bright work around it then and all of that is in good shape too. Nicely polished up chrome rear bumper and you can see this is just all your traditional trim back here and that looks like it's probably uh, original to the car. Again it does show a little bit of pitting and so forth but again it's in good straight solid shape. Um, as far as your tail light lenses and your backup lenses here go, those are in good condition. There's no cracks, no chips in any of that. Um, the bezels around the lights, those are in good shape too. You see the Nova SS badging right up here on the trunk lid. And then again, from this angle, you can see that molding that goes up along the top side of that quarter panel and how nice a condition that is in. Let's go ahead and pop the trunk on this now. Take a quick look on the inside, show you how nice this trunk is. You see that the trunk lock works there with the key. First thing you'll notice, the inside of that trunk lid painted up that nice bright red uh, paint that the exterior of the car is. Your trunk seal the whole way around, that looks to be all new stuff. No cracks, no tears, so again sealing up from the elements should not be an issue there. You see that the silver paint is continued even inside of that trunk lid there, the two-tone. And then as far as the trunk pan itself, the floor, you can see how nice and solid that is. Nice interior of the trunk here. There's no patching whatsoever. Finished off in the gray and white trunk spatter paint. So again, very nice inside here. So we'll go ahead and close that up. And then what we'll do is we'll go over on the passenger side of the vehicle. Okay, so here we are now on the passenger side. Like I said, this is just going to be real quick. Just walk right up the side here. So again, we've got those top body moldings here on the quarter panel. Nice and straight, nice and polished up there. No SS badging back there on the quarter panel. I mentioned that two-tone bright and black lower body molding there. The whole way from the back end of the car up to the back side of the front fender, nice and straight the whole way up through, no dents or dings in that. The bright wheelet moldings, the 15 inch weld bracing, aluminum wheels polished up real nice there. The 215 70R50, uh, R15 tires on the back and then on the front was the 165 80R15s up there. Bright drip rail moldings, again nice condition polished up, nice and straight, no dents or dings in any of that. The passenger side mirror, all of the moldings, even along the top side of the door, very nicely polished and very straight on this car. Just like we did on the other side, we'll take a look at the, you know, little bit of the door here uh, that we can. Again, red paint followed through from the exterior of the car to the inside. Got nice weather stripping the whole way around this car, both on the doors, and up above here, as far as you're sealing up your windows, all of that looks to be new or fairly new stuff. The rubber bump stops on the middle and down at the bottom as they should be. That red trim on the inside, the tan vinyl interior, the front bucket seats. Again, we'll see all of that a little bit later. Again, you see how easy that door shut. You can look at the gaps rear and on the front. The elevations are dead on on this car, and the gaps are very uniform front to back. So door adjustment, very nice. Even the trim around your wing, wing, wing window, very nice, polished up, no pinning at all on this component here. Windshield itself, excellent condition. I don't see any marks whatsoever on that windshield, uh, and especially on the trim around it, very nice and polished up there. Again, the 383 cross flags emblem down here on the back side of the front fender. Right wheel with moldings, 15 inch weld racing wheels. Again, 165, 
80 R15 tires. And uh, like I said, we have a fiberglass hood here, but we'll take a better look at that from the front side of the car, which we'll do very next time. Okay, finally, 360 degrees around the car. We're here at the front end of the car now. 65 Nova SS car. Again, your headlights here, those are just your traditional sealed beam lights, glass lenses, and they're in good shape. There's no cracks or chips in those. The bezels around the headlight, those are in good shape too. All of your trim, your bright work around this nose and around the hood in excellent shape, polished up very nice. The grill itself too, where it should be the bright and polished up, it is. And then you've got some black trim in there as well. All solid one piece uh, grill, it, you know, in here. You got the Chevy emblem. Again, there's nothing bent up, nothing bang, uh, nothing missing on this grill either. It's complete. So again, like I said, your trim work around it in nice shape and a nicely polished uh, chrome front bumper, even your parking lights down here, the lenses in those, those are in excellent condition. Now as I mentioned before, this is a fiberglass hood, but you can take a look down the sides here, your gaps on both sides, very uniform, so they've got the hood fitted side to side, very nice. You can see the way that the trim and everything all lines up across here, that's very nice as well. Paint's in good condition on the hood too. Again, one of the better fitting fiberglass hoods that I've seen. And again, that's a two inch uh, PAL induction fiberglass hood. So let's go ahead, we're gonna open the hood up. Opens up real easy. And we'll take a look on what's inside here now. We've got, again, fiberglass hood. You've got the, the bracing here underneath to make it good and strong. So you shouldn't have any flexing in that hood whatsoever. They've got the engine compartment in here painted up, a nice gloss black paint. So everything in here, you can just see the shine and the black's like a mirror finish in here. You can see the reflection of everything in here. Um, we've got chrome air cleaner. We've got a K&N air filter on here, a Holley dual feed carburetor with electric choke on this car. Now this whole engine here, this is a 383 GM Stroker crate motor. So it comes from GM, everything all assembled. It's got the GM Performance aluminum heads, the GM Performance aluminum intake on it. It's got thin aluminum valve covers to help dress it up too. And those are kind of the Vortex style head. It's got the bolt that goes right down through the center. The block, obviously, when it comes from GM, is painted black. So it matches with the, um, all the engine bay here being all painted black. We've got power steering, we've got manual brakes. Um, this was a four-wheel drum brake car, uh, but again, all steering components were good whenever we checked it from underneath also. Got an aluminum radiator here, got a fan shroud with a six blade, um, like an aluminum flex fan on here. Um, we've got chrome power steering reservoir, polished aluminum water pump. We've got a chrome alternator here as well. Also to help dress this up, they went ahead and put some long tube ceramic coated headers. They kind of look kind of like a cross between a chrome and aluminum. But again, they're shiny nonetheless, so it helps the whole look of this, uh, this motor underneath here. Got the uh, aluminum uh, gooseneck here for your water, uh, your water tube here. So again, like I said, everything about this car, they've got it dressed up real nice underneath here. Um, HEI ignition, they've uh, upgraded the distributor for that, uh, and then they've got GM Performance plug wires in here also. So everything top notch under the hood, got the serpentine belt drive system up front too, that's a nice touch. So again, they've you know spared no expense and they've dressed this car up very nice. Uh, so what we'll do now, we'll shut the hood up, we're going to go on the inside now, take a look at the interior, and then the very last thing we always do is we'll go ahead and fire that car up. That way you get to hear what it sounds like, you know, before uh, making any kind of decisions. Here. All right, and here we are inside of our 65 Chevrolet Nova SS now. Nice, rich looking interior on this car here. As you can see, it's got the red uh, trim on the interior, the dash, tops and bottoms of the door panels, and then you've got the, um, like this tan, or like a light brown, um, upholstering inside on the door panels, the seats, 
the headliner, and then you've got the carpeting also to match. Um, so again, all of this upholstery is in excellent shape on this car. There's no tears or uh, no wear marks whatsoever. It looks like this car has been done and then never driven as far as having anybody in the seats. It looks that good. Uh, bucket seats you can see here. Um, seat belts on the front sides all, all as well. Um, we've got this uh, steering column here. It's black column. Uh, we've got a black leather half wrap on the steering wheel, billet aluminum wheel with the SS horn button in the center to go along with the Nova SS. Now this is the factory dash, hasn't been modified. Factory 120 mile an hour speedo over there, factory tack, and then we've got the factory battery, fuel, oil, and temperature gauge over there as well. Now they, they have, excuse me, they have upgraded the radio in this, this dash, but they did not modify it in any way. Uh, custom auto sound makes a very nice unit that mounts right in the factory hole here, and that's what they've gone ahead and done. So custom auto, auto sound, digital AM, FM, cassette player in the dash, in the original hole, no modifications whatsoever got this factory center console here you can see the center of it painted red just like all the trim got the SS badging in the center there up top also then we got this Hearst four-speed shifter right here uh, with the white shift ball on top that helps set that up got the Nova SS badging up here on the glove box as well all of the trim as far as the bright work on this car uh, inside and out is in excellent condition all the original knobs on the dash look really good and again they match up really nice with the knobs on that custom auto sound radio too just have oem style door handles and window cranks on it as well so again the interior done up very very nice in this car headliners tied up nice and tight got all the bows in it and there's not a tear a rip a hole or anything nice and smooth up top there as well so again just like the rest of this car, the inside here is really, really nice. Again, this tan or you know dark tan or brownish interior gives a real nice rich look on the inside here also. Um, with that said, we're all done except for firing the motor up for you. Uh, if you have any more questions about this or any other car that we have in our inventory, you can go ahead and give us a call or shoot us an email. All of our contact information made available to you throughout all the photos and video, as well as on our website, www.hangsters.com.